hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, digital electronics Carnot map simplification k map simplification so so far we have discussed uh, about sum of products sop k map two variable three variable four variable k maps we discussed the basic concepts related to it how to draw the k map how to map the SOP expression and how to simplify them. So we have discussed a lot of questions related to 3 and 4 variable K map. So now we will discuss the POS K map product of sum K map which is a form of Boolean expression. So before discussing POS K map let us just uh, quickly look at some basic concepts related to SOP and POS we have already discussed uh, while uh, the SOP still we are going to cover this up so that we have a good understanding of what we are going into. So as we know uh, boolean expressions they can be represented in SOP that is some of products or POS product of sum ok so it is also represented as sum of min terms and this is represented as product of max terms ok now uh, a basic representation of SOP can be in this form let us say we have a boolean expression which is represented as a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c a bar let us say b c like that and so on. This is the SOP representation three variable. Similarly, in POS we can express like uh, A or C or A bar, B bar or C or A or A bar, or B bar, C bar like that. So, here you see these product terms, these variables which are added together and then these min terms as they are called are all together or sum together ok. So, first these are the product terms of the variables and then they are added to form the sum of products but here we have these sum terms ok the variables are all together first and then they are ended or we have the product. So, that is why it is called as SOP this is called as POS. So, I have already discussed in detail about SOP and POS you can check uh, about SOP and POS in the videos in the digital electronics playlist ok. So, here I am just going in a quick way another important thing is that the value of the SOP boolean expression is always 1 whereas for POS it is 0 ok that this is very important SOP value is 1 POS value is always 0. Another important thing let us go here in SOP the variable which is complemented or which has a bar sign above it always stands for 0 and the uncomplemented variable it always stands for 1. For example, here a bar b bar c bar is actually 0 0 0 or 0 like. Similarly, a bar b bar c is 0 0 1 1 or we can say this a bar b c is 
0 1 1 which is 3 ok like this but in POS it is the opposite the complemented variable or the variable with a bar sign above it stands for 1 and the uncomplemented variable it stands for 0. So, here a or b or c actually this is 0 0 0 do not get confused see these are min terms product terms complemented variable 0 uncomplemented variable 1 but here these are max terms I have already discussed in SOP and POS what are min terms what are max terms here max terms are always represented in this sum form the variables are summed together and the rule of POS or max term representation is that complemented variables always stand for 1 uncomplemented variable 0. So, here when you see this in a boolean expression it always means it is a max term a sum term variables are uncomplemented so it is 0 0 0 0 0. Similarly, a bar or b bar or c ok complemented variables so 1 1 0 ok 1 1 0. So, always you remember these things similarly a bar or b bar or c bar ok. So, here this is 1 1 1 which is 7 ok this is 6 ok. So, these are the basic things. Similarly, we can go for 4 variables also no, no matter how many number of variables they are it will have the same thing ok. Here we are using 3 variables similarly we can have 4 variables 5 variables like that but mostly we will deal with 3 and 4 variables uh, boolean expression we mostly come around boolean expressions like that. So, these are some basic things which I wanted so that we will we are clear on these things. So, when we use a particular notation and I say that it is uncomplemented variable so it is 1 so you do not have any confusion but still I want you to check the videos related to uh, canonical representation SOP sum of products and product of sums min terms and max terms I have already made uh, videos related to that you can check that out in the digital electronics playlist ok. So, now we are clear about SOP and POS. So, let us uh, discuss about uh, POS K map. So, now we will discuss about how to draw POS K map. So, we will start with 2 variable K map then we will go to 3 and then we will go to 4 variable K map ok. So, the general format of uh, the K map for SOP and POS is the same the structure is the same it is where we assign values for uh, binary values to the variables and their representation there comes the difference. So, see uh, the two variable k map it looks something like this let us call the two variables as a and b as we have already discussed in SOP the number of cells in a k map is 2 to the power the number of variables if we have n variables then the number of cells will be 2 to the power n here we have two variables so it is 2 to the power 2 4 cells if the number of variables is 3 then we have 8 cells if the number of variables is 4 we will have 16 cells ok. Now, next the general format as I said for both the k maps is same it is 0 1 0 1 ok. Now, up to this point the 
procedure is the same for SOP and POS. Now is the difference which comes. As I said, in POS, 0 stands for uncomplemented variable, 1 stands for complemented variable. So, here in 0, we will write A, in 1, we will write A bar. Similarly, here we will write B, here we will write B bar. Okay. So, this will be in POS it will be A or B. Here it will be A or B bar. Here it will be A bar or B. It will be A bar or B bar. So, it is Zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay, this is two variable POS key map. Okay, so if we compare this with a SOP key map, let us see what difference we will have. SOP K map the general structure is the same four cells A B here also it is 0 1 0 1 up to this point both are the same here comes the difference here instead of 0 in place of 0 we write A bar and 1 we write A here also we write B bar, here we write B because in SOP complemented variable stands for 0, uncomplemented variable stands for 1. So, this is SOP sum of products min terms. So, this will be A bar B bar, okay, product terms. This is A bar B, this is A B bar this is a b so each cell has a particular value and a particular each cell stands for a particular boolean term it can be a max term in pos min term in sop and each cell each term has a particular value which is represented in terms of binary values so here is also 0 0 here it is 0 1 here it is 1 0 here it is 1 1 so, each cell has the same binary values, but they are represented in different ways, okay, in terms of the variables. So, as I said, the difference in SOP and POS lies in the values, the binary values which we assign to particular Boolean variables. The critical difference is that in SOP, A bar stands for 0, any complemented variable it stands for 0 and uncomplemented variable it stands for 1 this is SOP in POS it is the opposite any complemented variable it stands for 1 uncomplemented variable it stands for 0 so there lies the difference this is two variable SOP K map okay this is the difference the number of cells are the same, the general layout is the same, everything is the same. Only the difference is the, the values which we assign to particular variables and the way of writing the same value. Here 0, 0 is represented as A or B. Here it is represented as A bar, B bar. Here 0, 1 is written as A or B bar. Here it is written as A bar and B. Here A bar plus B. Here it is a b bar another important thing if you pay attention here it is a or b the first cell here it is a bar b bar now if we apply de morgan's theorem we complement the whole expression it will be become a bar 
p bar. Also here if we complement the whole expression, it will be a bar who double complement or b bar double complement which is a plus b. Simple application of de Morgan's theorem. Similarly, if we do it for the second cell a or b bar whole complement, it will be a bar b double complement which is a bar b okay a bar b which is the same as here a bar b if we double complement it it will be a double complement or b bar which is a or b bar so you see each representation the you know the boolean representation the boolean term for each cell is actually the complement of the other okay see a bar b bar whole complement is a or b a bar b whole complement is a or b bar a b bar whole complement is a bar or b a b whole complement is a bar or b bar so simple application of de morgan's theorem okay this is another important point related to sop and pos k map Okay, same goes for 3 and 4 variable k map also. So, you take each cell, the representation, the Boolean term representation, whole complement it, you will get the other. For SOP, if you complement, you will get the POS. In POS, if you complement it, you will get the SOP term for each cell. Okay, so this is the general representation of a 2 variable k map. Okay. So, each cell here stands for a particular value, it is 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, here also it is the same 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, this is all about uh, two variable SOP uh, POS K map.